Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out this week's Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 23475 to the Dev Channel Insiders, which they made available on the 7th, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, there's quite a lot going on this week. And uh, there are a couple of new features in Build 23475. And the first um, is the new File Explorer and some uh, visual layout changes and visual redesign changes that Microsoft is now introducing um, in the modernized File Explorer, um, which I have posted on previously. Um, and this is now starting to be officially um, tested now in the Dev Channel. Now, as we can see, um, there is a new modernized File Explorer homepage which Microsoft say is powered by WinUI. And um, if we just take a look at this, um, yeah, obviously on the homepage, things look a little bit different to how they do currently in the stable version. And yeah, we get some recommended files with those thumbnail previews. And I think the key highlight here, really, when it comes to the new File Explorer, is the new, as Microsoft is calling it, the uh, new modernized address bar and search box uh, that's now been included in the File Explorer. And um, what happens with this new so-called modernized um, address bar is it actually intelligently now recognizes local versus cloud folders with built-in status. And something else to take note of um, is that it's received a bit of a, a um, layout change. Now, if we just quickly head to the stable versions File Explorer, we can see that the address bar and the search are below the actual toolbar with all the different options. And if we head back to the new file explorer, the new modern the new modernized file explorer, um, the menu options now on the toolbar is below the address bar. And I've mentioned this previously, but just to do a quick recap, and the new address bar and search box are now below the actual tabs. So it's now looking more like a web browser and then the current um, stable version of the File Explorer. So that's just a little bit of a layout change. And over and above that, if we head to the next screenshot, um, yeah, we can see Microsoft say that if you are using OneDrive, um, you'll notice the address bar will now contain your OneDrive sync status and quota flyout, as we can see from the screenshot provided. So that new File Explorer home and that new address bar and search with all those improvements are now officially being tested in the dev channel. Now, this next one is regarding um, dynamic lighting and um, native controls for your um, RGB devices. And I have posted on this previously as well. And now this has also been tested now officially in the dev channel. So um, it also includes native controls now for RGB um, peripherals like your keyboards, mice, and monitors, as we can see from the screenshot provided, which means um, you won't have to now um, use third-party tools to change features like your color of your lights. And um, those options, as we can see now, can be configured and um, enabled directly in the Windows Settings app from the personalization dynamic lighting um, page, which will be a new page where you can actually access that uh, those dynamic lighting peripherals like your keyboards, mouse monitors, and so on. And I actually think this is a um, key highlight that a lot of users are anticipating will be coming to the stable version um, in the future. And then moving on to a, another one, um, another new feature. Um, if you are into emoji, um, just to do a quick update with this, um, Microsoft says that they are beginning to roll out em a Unicode Emoji 15. Uh, to the Dev Channel Insiders this week, and you will now be able to see, search for, and insert new emoji from the emoji panel. And these are just a couple um, of their emoji 15 designs, which include more hearts, as we can see, um, animals, as we can see once again, and a new smiley face. So that's uh, Unicode Emoji 15, which is now available to the Dev Channel Insiders. And over and above that, um, there is a store update to Canary and Dev Channel Insiders for this week, which has now been bumped up to version 2305.1401 and later. And um, you now have the ability to install free apps and games from the search results, as we can see, uh, which um, this began rolling out to Insiders in the Canary and Dev Channel at the end of March and is now rolling out to more Insiders uh, in the Dev Channel and the Canary Channels, as Microsoft has said. Uh, from the release notes and um, if we head to the last screenshot for this video 
Um, there are new designs for game and movie cards, as we can see. And Microsoft says the cards give more room for artwork, adding more color to your experience and making it easier for you to spot your next favorite uh, product. So that's just an update regarding those new designs for game and video cards. And over and above um, the key highlights, as mentioned, that we have look, looked at in build 23475, um, we get all these different fixes because obviously this is still early days. So there is a, a bit of um, work to be done when it comes to um, fixes and improvements. And because it is early days in the dev channel, um, there are a couple of known issues which Microsoft has mentioned uh, in the release notes for this latest build 23475. And I'll leave a link down below uh, to uh, the release notes uh, if you would be interested and that's more or less what's new and those are some features that we could expect to start rolling out in the future to a stable version of windows 11 although not guaranteed uh, but nonetheless um, that's what's um, now available in build 23475 available to the dev channel insiders for this week so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one